Good morning, everybody. It's Steve here from Don Amot Leisure. Today, I am going to take you round this 2020 um, Eldis Compass Kensington um, CV20. So the Kensington side of it just means it's a dealer special. So different colour schemes, um, different stickers, different internal colour schemes, and a few little bits and bobs that are added onto it. So this is based on the 2.3 140 brake horsepower manual Ducato and the CV20 will sleep to, travel to, um, one of the most popular in the panel van range, three and a half tonnes, so can be driven on a standard driving licence. So starting off on the outside, as I said before, it's in the white with these really, really nice stylish graphics down the side. Um, as standard on this model, you get the 16-inch Fiat diamond cut alloy wheels, the Dometic wind-out awning. It also has a solar panel on the roof, a TV aerial, and a bike rack to the rear. So uh, as we're walking around, you've got an electric habitation step there, which I'll show you when we head back. Round to the back, rear reversing camera, and as I said, a bike rack suitable for two. Um, the only thing is when the bike rack's on, you can't open the door to do that all the way out. You can on the other one, but this one you can't because this will catch on that side. Um, <clears throat> but nice to have a bike rack as an option. Down here, you've just got your power. There is an extra external 240 volt just there water in is there and your lpg gas fill up so these come with a 25 litre underslung tank so you'll have gas for a long time because they tend to uh, last a while so let's head on in as we do like i said you do have an electric habitation step and a fly screen there that will come across here as well before we go in let's just have a look at some bits and bobs we've got here so that's your step another power socket there nice array of drawers and they're pretty big as well so they're not tiny under there under there and then you get a little one there so storage you've got lots of it just there more storage above your head here great place to put your bed in um, into the front twin swiveling seats as you can see with the kensington stitching um, and the slightly different color scheme as we say um, <clears throat> screen there which does have your satellite navigation on it and then you do get speed limit and cruise control as well bluetooth connectivity um, and controls on your steering wheel at the front but other than that the front is pretty much as you expect from a van yeah up here You've got your control panel, which is pretty self-explanatory, heating in your hot water controls, and then this shows you how much gas yeah. is in your um, LPG tank. Yeah. Moving further along, look at that, it's hidden, didn't realise. So, got a colour-coded fridge door with a decent-sized fridge there as well. Um, <clears throat> this will be a 12-volt compressor fridge with a night mode. Wardrobe space underneath there. Excellent with room to put a lot of your belongings and then your freestanding table just hides behind there for the rear for when you're eating and dining and then again you do get some nice little bits and bobs so two gas one electric mm -hmm. remember your electric will only work when you're plugged in yeah. microwave which again will only work when you're plugged in bit more storage there for your plates yeah. there's only two of you you don't need many plates <laughs> nice size sink just there with your sink cover that acts as a worktop and then in there a bit more room to hide a bit some bobs light switches are here combination gas uh, oven and grill and then an extra worktop that sits just there as well and if wendy comes past we'll just show you into your washroom wet room area so a good size for a van um, i'm sure you'll agree nice sink with your shower that pulls out there and then a little bit of storage in terms of cupboards and stuff yeah. um so yeah that tap comes out and hooks up there yeah. <clears throat> um but a good size in there yeah. and then into the back which is the main area really um what i really like about the cv20s is you get really long benches mm -hmm. so six foot long benches if you wanted them a single bed you can just remove these and you get a nice good size single bed then if you wanted it as a double this comes across from here both sides yeah. my favorite bit about the cv20s is once that bed's made up you've still got these as seats here yeah. so for if you're away for a week or two weeks and you're getting fed up and making your bed up and down every day you can just leave your bed made up and still have a place to dine here because the table can cut, sort of sit here and slide in um <clears throat> that's one thing that i really like 
about the CV20s. You get a bit of storage underneath here, a bit of storage underneath here, and then all the way across that side and that side. Yeah. If we start on this side, got your 12 volt there for your TV points and under there as well. Mm -hmm. And then TV bracket. In there is your aerial and there's a couple of USB points. Storage, storage. Then down this side is your solar panel controller and there's two USB sockets on that as well. Um, <clears throat> so the solar panel has been added. And then above my head, you have a skylight here and then a skylight above Wendy's head there just to let a bit of light and a bit of air in. A couple of reading lights either side. So you've got good lighting in the back as well. It's quite a dark day outside today and this is well lit up. Um, so CV20s are very popular because they are competitively priced and li literally have everything you need. If you're in the market for a CV20 and you're looking down the pre-owned line, this could be the van for you. So pick up the phone, ask for me, Steve, in the first instance, because I'd love to show you around it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and it's been informative and it might be ticking your boxes. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And we will see you very, very soon. Ta-da!